MF Global, a futures trading concern, and trust me, I don't quite know really what that means. I guess just investing on the prices of things in the future. I mean, I, I do and I don't. Uh, really opposed the rules that the um, that fe federal regulators were trying to impose regarding the use of client money by a company in their own investments. In other words, commingling funds, keeping a company not attempting to keep customers' money safe from their own, using customer money to make their own gambles with. And uh, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, which voted unanimously to approve a rule barring firms from using client funds, planned to finish it months, months ago, but the agency delayed action as a result of strong opposition from guess who? John S. Corzine, who at the time was chief executive of MF Global. Mr. Corzine, Corzine, Corzine resigned on November 4, four days after MF Global filed for bankruptcy protection. He resigned. He resigned. The revelation that client money was missing at MF Global has incited panic in the futures industry. MF Global's customers, including farmers and hedge funds, are still owed millions of dollars. Now some of the customers say they are losing faith in a system that promised to protect their money. While brokerage firms can invest client money, such funds must never be commingled, I use the word first, with company funds. MF Global violated that principle in its final chaotic days, tapping its segregated client accounts to meet its own financial obligations, people briefed on the matter have said. That really stinks. It stinks. And John F. Corzine, who was above wearing a seatbelt in a car because he was immune to those kind of things, and then got his ass kicked around terribly in a car accident because he didn't have a seatbelt on, obviously didn't have a seatbelt on when it come, came to investing people's money. What a gambler. What a, what a crazy guy. The missing money, thought to be about oh, $1.2 billion, has prompted several federal investigations in recent weeks. Really? The Futures Commission is leading the hunt for the money, while the Federal Bureau of Investigation is examining possible wrongdoing. You think maybe there's been possible wrongdoing? Mm-hmm. John Corzine, really, or Corzine, I guess it's Corzine, really has a lot of power that he can avoid such direct... Uh, accusations and, and can glance them off like Wonder Woman with that bracelet hers. Bing, 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 bing. But uh, I don't think the future is particularly rosy for John Corzine, and he should just fess up and be done with it. But he doesn't do those kind of things. Some regulators are also examining a flood of new rules for brokerage firms, part of an effort to prevent a repeat of the MF Global debacle. MF Global's collapse has also led to renewed calls for federal regulators to keep a closer watch on brokerage firms reclaiming oversight authority now delegated to for-profit exchanges like the CME Group. Yes, yes, I see. Bart Chilton, a Democratic member of the Commodities Commission, is pushing for Congress to create an insurance fund for futures industry customers. So Congress and the American people should guarantee the money that futures industry. So that's good. That's good. Yes, we'll just we'll 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 underwrite your crazy losses. Oh yes, to create an insurance fund for futures industry customers. That doesn't sound good on the surface of it, does it? Who's going to pay for it? Is it going to be the United States government is going to, like, going to guarantee that? So the futures industry people can just keep 
getting crazy and doing what it is, doing whatever it is they want to do. The rule adopted by the commission on Monday is aimed at the industry's use of customer money while firms can invest customer funds in United States Treasury securities and other plain vanilla funds. The agency reined in riskier bets. Until now, brokerage firms could invest client money in a number of securities, including sovereign debt. Under the new rule, if firms want to invest customers' funds in foreign governments, they must petition the agency for an exemption. The new rule also bars firms from using client money so that one arm of the company can lend to another. A transaction known as an in-house repurchase agreement. Doesn't sound good to me. As recent events have highlighted, the protection and preservation of customer funds is fundamental to our markets. Scott O'Malley, a Republican member of the Commission, said in a statement, Yes, I think it is. I think it is important. Are well, they going to do it? Who knows? So, keep your money in your mattress. That's the deal. Mattress. You know... You know, I really hate to say it, but we're starting to look like a big bunch of crooks over here. Just a big bunch of greedy crooks. An American business is getting the worst reputation I've ever seen of it in the world. I mean, we're, I guess it's always been going on, but we're just getting such a reputation as being just crooks. Nice, huh?